You tell your dog, I love you. They tilt their head, wag their tail, maybe give you that soft stare. But what if I told you? They might not hear the words the way you think. Scientists recently scanned dogs' brains to find out what they really hear when we speak. And the results? It's surprising. In this video, you'll finally discover what your dog actually hears when you talk and also how they decode your voice, your emotions, and your words. Let's jump into the video. Science behind a dog's ears. Dogs don't just hear better than us. They hear differently. Their ears are like little emotion antennas, tuned to pick up sounds and feelings we completely miss. A human ear catches sound waves up to about 20,000 hertz. But a dog? They can hear up to 65,000. That's why you can quietly open a treat bag from the other room, and your dog suddenly appears like they teleported. But here's where it gets really interesting. Neuroscientists discovered that inside a dog's brain, the part that processes sound doesn't just focus on words. It locks onto emotion. The warmth, excitement, or tension in your voice hits them first, long before the meaning of the word even registers. So when you call their name gently, their brain hears safety. When you say, good boy, with energy, it lights up their reward center like fireworks. But if your tone is flat or tense, even the nicest words can sound like background noise. What words mean to dogs? When you talk to your dog, they're not hearing sentences the way we do. They're not sitting there thinking, oh, she said it's time for a walk at five. What they actually hear are patterns. Familiar sounds linked to specific feelings or actions. To them, walk doesn't mean the word itself. It means the experience of going outside, smelling the air, moving with you. Treat means excitement and reward. No means your energy suddenly dropped and they need to pause. It's less about vocabulary and more about association. Scientists even ran experiments using nonsense words. Saying things like boga in the same happy tone as good boy. And guess what? Dogs still wag their tails because it wasn't the word that mattered. It was the tone and the emotional memory attached to it. So when you talk to your dog, you're not having a language conversation. You're having a heart conversation made of sound, rhythm, and feeling. The power of tone. Your tone is everything to your dog. You could say the exact same word three different ways, and your dog would react three completely different ways. When you say, good boy, in that cheerful, high-pitched voice, their brain lights up with pure joy. It releases the same happy chemicals humans get when someone smiles at us. But say, good boy, in a flat or cold tone, and it means nothing to them. It's just noise. Now flip it. If you use a deep or harsh tone, even gentle words can sound like a warning. That's why some dogs look guilty even when they haven't done anything wrong. Your tone told them you were upset, even if your words didn't. So, yes, your dog listens closely, but not to what you say. It's all about how you say it. Every rise in your pitch, every pause, every sigh, it all sends a message. Think about it. When you're sad, you don't even have to speak for your dog to know. That's how powerful your tone is. Now, be honest. Have you ever caught yourself using that funny baby voice when talking to your dog? I think we all have. How dogs decode emotion. Here's the wild part. Dogs don't just hear your tone. They feel it. Neuroscientists discovered that when dogs listen to human voices, the same part of their brain that processes emotion lights up just like in ours. That means your dog doesn't need to understand English to know how you're feeling. They can literally sense it through the sound of your voice. When you're happy, your voice has a rhythm that makes them wag. When you're sad, your tone drops and slows down and they come closer, not because you called them, but because they felt your sadness. Even when you try to fake a cheerful voice while you're stressed, they still know. Their brain catches those little emotional signals we think we hide. So the next time your dog quietly sits beside you without you saying a word, that's not coincidence. That's empathy in motion. 
they don't just hear you, they understand your heart. The human dog bond. There's a reason your dog listens to you more than anyone else. Over thousands of years, dogs have evolved to tune their brains to human voices, especially the ones they love. Scientists found that when a dog hears their owner's voice, the reward center in their brain lights up like they just got a treat. To them, your voice means safety, comfort, and belonging. It's more than sound. It's a signal that says, you're my person. Wolves don't respond this way. They might recognize a pack member's howl, but dogs are different. They've learned to respond to the human rhythm, the melody of our speech, even our laughter. That's why your dog perks up when they hear your voice. Even if they're half asleep, you're not just background noise, you're home. Every good boy, every laugh, every gentle word builds that invisible bridge between your world and theirs. And that's why they don't just listen. They feel connected to you through every sound you make. How to talk so your dog understands. If you really want your dog to understand you, it's not about talking more. It's about talking smarter. Dogs don't need long sentences or fancy words. They need clear signals, simple sounds, and steady tone. Keep your words short and consistent. Use the same word for the same action every time. If sit sometimes means stay, and other times means stop jumping, your dog's going to get confused fast. When you speak, make your tone match your message. A happy tone for praise, a calm tone for instruction, and a firm tone for correction, but never anger. And here's a small trick. Pause after you speak. Don't rush. Give them a moment to process what you said. Their brain needs a beat to connect sound, tone, and action. Think of yourself like a radio your dog is trying to tune into. If your signal keeps changing, they'll lose the message. Combine your voice with clear body language, like eye contact or hand gestures, and you'll be amazed at how quickly they get it. Now tell me, what's one word your dog instantly obeys every single time? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to see which ones win. Common mistakes owners make. Most dog owners don't realize it, but the way we talk to our dogs can sometimes confuse them more than help them. One of the biggest mistakes? Over-talking. We use 10 words when one would do. Imagine someone saying, buddy, can you please come here? We're going for a walk now. That's way too much noise for your dog's brain. All they catch is walk and then chaos. Keep it short and clear. Another mistake is mixing tones. Saying good boy in a scolding voice or no in a sweet one. To your dog, that's emotional static. They don't know which signal to follow. And here's a sneaky one. Saying it's okay when you're nervous. Like at the vet, you think you're comforting them, but your tense tone tells them something's wrong. Dogs always believe your emotions over your words. So if your tone says worry, that's what they'll feel. What's the funniest or weirdest word your dog reacts to? I know some dogs go wild over words like grandma or chicken. Tell me yours in the comments. How dogs hear, I love you. When you tell your dog, I love you, they might not understand the words, but they absolutely understand the feeling behind them. Your voice softens, your breathing slows, your energy changes, and that's what your dog hears. To them, those three words sound like peace, safety, and home. Scientists found that when owners speak lovingly, dogs release oxytocin, the same bonding hormone that connects a parent to a child. That's why they lean closer, lick your face, or close their eyes when you talk softly. They're soaking in the emotion, not the meaning. So the next time you whisper, I love you, remember, your dog isn't translating it into language. They're translating it into feeling. They don't need the words to know it's love. They can hear it in your tone. They can feel it in your heartbeat. So now you know, when you talk to your dog, they're not just hearing words. They're hearing your energy, your heart, and your emotion. They may not understand every sentence, but they always understand you. So speak kindly, speak clearly, and never stop talking to them. 
because to your dog, your voice is the most beautiful sound in their world. Now I'd love to hear from you. What's one word your dog reacts to the fastest? Tell me in the comments below. I bet we'll find some funny and adorable ones. If you learned something new today, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos about keeping your pup happy, healthy, and loved. If you already have a furry friend by your side, take a look at the products I've listed below in the description. They're the same ones I use, and trust me, your dog will love them too. Check out this video for more amazing dog facts, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.